before bear. In the enchanting world of Alphabet Land, young Arthur was filled with curiosity. He had heard about the magical letter B and decided to embark on an exciting adventure to discover its meaning. One sunny morning, Arthur found himself in a beautiful, sun-drenched forest. This time, he was determined to uncover the mysteries behind the letter B. As Arthur ventured further, he stumbled upon an incredible sight, an enchanted bear garden home to a vast number of bears. Just as Arthur was beginning to explore, a friendly bear arrived. With a warm smile, the bear welcomed him to their home. Arthur followed the bear into their cozy home, eager to learn more about these gentle giants. Inside, Arthur was in for a delightful surprise. Little bears were scattered around the garden, each busy with different activities. Some bears were relishing their meals, munching on delicious treats. Their cheerful munching and sharing reminded Arthur of the letter B. A group of bears was playing football in the garden, showing their sporty side as they kicked the ball with excitement, while another team was hard at work, building a grand, bear-sized house. Arthur could not help but be amazed. As he watched some of the bears skillfully climbing tall trees with ease, in another corner, some bears were peacefully sleeping, their gentle snoring creating a soothing harmony. One friendly bear noticed Arthur's curiosity and approached him. With a warm and welcoming voice, the bear began to explain. As he listened to the bear's words, Arthur realized that B stood for bear. Bears, with their diverse activities and incredible characteristics, perfectly represented the letter B. Filled with newfound knowledge about bears and the letter B, Arthur said his goodbyes to his bear friends and the sunny forest. B is for birds. One sunny morning, as Arthur played in his backyard, he noticed a flurry of colorful feathers and heard the sweet melodies of birds chirping nearby. Arthur decided to embark on a fantastic adventure of bird discovery nearby Birdsong Forest. He grabbed his favorite book, Birds of Alphabet Land, and set out to explore the vibrant world of feathered friends. As he ventured deeper into the forest, Arthur noticed a group of colorful birds perched on the branches of a magnificent tree. The leader of the flock, a wise old owl named Benny, greeted him with a hoot. Hoot hoot. Welcome, young explorer. I hear you are on a quest to discover the magic of the letter B. Excitement bubbled inside Arthur, and he nodded eagerly. Yes, Mr. Owl. I want to know all about birds, and why they start with the letter B. Benny nodded sagely. Birds are amazing creatures, my dear friend. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors, just like the letters of the alphabet. Let me introduce you to some of our feathered friends. Can you tell me more about yourself and other birds that start with the letter B? Arthur asked. Benny, happy to share his knowledge, chirped, of course. I'm Benny, the bluebird, 
And my friends include Bella the Blackbird, Bobby the Robin, and Barry the Bald Eagle. Each of us is unique and has something special about us. Excited to meet more birds, Arthur continued his journey. He soon encountered Bella the Blackbird, who had sleek, shiny feathers that glistened in the sunlight. Bella explained, Blackbirds are known for their beautiful songs, and we enjoy singing to express our feelings and communicate with each other. In the heart of the birdsong forest, young Arthur met Alex, a dazzling peacock with feathers. That shimmered like a rainbow. Alex unfolded his vibrant feathers. Alex taught Arthur the ABCs through a joyful peacock dance, each feather revealing a new letter's enchanting story. The adventure took Arthur to the treetops, where he met Bobby the Robin, a charming red-breasted bird. Bobby shared, Robins are great at building nests, and we lay colorful eggs. It is always a busy time for us during the spring when we raise our chicks. Eager to learn more, Arthur reached the outskirts of Birdsong Forest, where he spotted Barry the bald eagle soaring majestically in the sky. Barry explained, bald eagles are known for their impressive wingspan and keen eyesight. We're symbols of strength and freedom. As Arthur followed Benny through the forest, they encountered a bustling group of bluebirds, their wings shimmering like sapphires. B is for bluebirds, explained Oliver, and they bring joy and happiness with their cheerful songs. Next, they came across to the curvy river, where the colorful parrots were perched on the branches. A vibrant rainbow of parrots. B is also for parrots, Benny declared. With their brilliant feathers and the ability to mimic sounds from all around. Arthur was fascinated as he met busy little hummingbirds majestic bald eagles, and even a comical penguin waddling along. Each bird had its unique charm, making Arthur appreciate the diversity of the avian world. As Arthur wandered along the forest river, he spotted a graceful swan gliding on the water's surface. Curiosity led him closer revealing a group of swan birds elegantly swimming, eating, and playing in perfect harmony. Their white feathers reflected the sunlight, creating a breathtaking scene of tranquility in the enchanted forest. Mesmerized, Arthur watched as the swans moved gracefully, their gentle presence adding a touch of magic to the woodland river. In that serene moment, Arthur felt grateful for the beauty nature bestowed upon the hidden corners of the forest. Looking around, he noticed a group of joyful children playing in the birdsong forest. Their laughter filled the air as they ran and played together. But what caught Arthur's attention was the sight of graceful birds taking flight. They soared gracefully through the skies, painting a beautiful picture. Intrigued, Arthur observed the birds landing delicately on vibrant, nectar-filled flowers, sipping sweet nectar, and pollinating as they went. His curiosity led him to witness birds working diligently building nests high up in the trees. They crafted cozy homes for their young ones. 
Arthur watched as the parent birds lovingly fed their hungry chicks, ensuring they were well nourished and safe. After a delightful day of exploration, Arthur thanked Benny for the incredible adventure. Now I understand why beak is for birds, he said with a grin. As the sun began to set, Arthur returned home with a heart full of knowledge and a newfound appreciation for the beauty of the alphabet and the enchanting world of birds. And so, the young boy's alphabet adventure came to an end. But the lessons he learned from the birds of Birdsong Forest would stay with him forever. As Arthur closed his book, he couldn't help but dream of the next letter that would unlock another magical realm of discovery. In the birdsong forest of Alphabet Land, the birds continued to sing, chirp, and flutter their wings. B is for Beach. In a cheerful town by the sea, there lived a little boy named Arthur, who couldn't wait for his big beach day. The sun was shining brightly in the sky as Arthur. Arthur decided to embark on a special journey to the magnificent beach land, a magical place called Seashell Shore. The sandy beach stretched as far as the eye could see, and the waves whispered secrets to the seashells scattered along the shore. Arthur hopped into his bouncy balloon and floated through the beautiful blue sky until he reached the breathtaking beach called Seashell Shore. The moment Arthur landed, he was greeted by the warm, golden sand beneath his feet. Excitedly, Arthur wiggled his way through the sandy dunes, singing, Beak is for beach, a place to play and reach. As Arthur walked the beach, a rustle near rocks revealed a wise tortoise blinking in sunlight. B is for beach and a brilliant encounter. Arthur exclaimed. The tortoise nodded, inviting him on a fascinating journey, sharing tales of the ocean. A guardian of a nest, the tortoise unveiled speckled eggs. A promise of new life. B is for beginning, Arthur whispered, acknowledging the magic. With a heart full of gratitude, Arthur waved goodbye to the tortoise and the nest of eggs. He continued his sea beach tour, carrying the wisdom of the tortoise and the anticipation of new life within those speckled eggs. As Arthur strolled along the seashell shore, he encountered colorful beach balls bouncing and rolling. Each beach ball had a letter of the alphabet painted on it. Arthur smiled and said, B is for beach ball, big and bright, bouncing along in the sunlight. Arthur looked around with wide eyes, eager to discover the wonders of the seashell shore. Curious to see what lay beyond, Arthur waddled towards the captivating waves. The ocean was filled with shimmering shades of blue and green. Arthur exclaimed, B is for blue, the ocean's hue, sparkling and true, a beautiful view. Suddenly, Arthur spotted a busy group of crabs scuttling across the sand. They were forming the shape of the letter B. Arthur giggled, B is for beach crabs, playing in the sand, forming letters so grand. Arthur meets Sandy, a playful little crab, who called Seashell Shore his home. Sandy had the most amazing collection of seashells, each one telling a unique story. Sandy greeted Arthur and welcomed him. 
Sandy, the little crab, decided to share his treasure trove of stories with Arthur. Sunny days at seashell shore are always special. Sandy chirped, his claws clicking with excitement. Let me tell you about the wonders that happened here. Sandy gathered his friends. Shelly the seashell, Flipper the friendly dolphin, and Coral the colorful fish. Together, they set out on an adventure to explore the beauty of seashell shore. As they strolled along the sandy path, Sandy pointed to the first letter in the alphabet. A is for adventure. Every day at the beach is a new adventure waiting to unfold. Soon, their attention turned to the powdery sand beneath their feet. Arthur declared, let's build the biggest sand castle ever, Sandy. Armed with buckets and shovels, they worked together, creating towers and moats fit for kings and queens. Their masterpiece complete. Arthur noticed a gentle breeze blowing in from the sea. B is for boat, exclaimed Arthur, pointing to a little toy boat washed ashore. With sparkling eyes, they set the boat afloat in a tide pool, pretending to sail to faraway lands. While sailing their imaginary boat, the friends noticed colorful fish swimming near the shore. Arthur whispered, marveling at the underwater dance of orange, blue, and silver fins. Arthur, always curious, dipped his paw into the water, creating ripples that made the fish playfully dart around. Coral swam gracefully, leading them to a magical underwater world. Sea is for coral, she declared showing off the vibrant coral reefs where colorful fish danced in the clear blue water. They reached the water's edge and Flipper leaped into the ocean, creating playful splashes. Little Sandy guided his friends to a cozy spot under the shade of a palm tree. D is for daydreaming, he said with a contented smile. Sometimes, the best adventures happen in our dreams right here by the sea. Nearby, a family of seagulls soared gracefully through the sky. Arthur marveled at their wingspan and chirped. B is for birds, flying high above, spreading joy and love. Time flew by as they enjoyed the sun, sand, and sea. But, as the sun started to dip below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of pink and orange, Arthur knew it was time to bid the beach farewell. E is for evening, Shelley whispered. When the sun says goodbye, the stars come out to play. As the moon painted a silver path on the water, Arthur and his friends gathered around a crackling bonfire. They toasted marshmallows and sang songs about the wonders of seashell shore. As the night unfolded, Arthur realized that every letter of the alphabet held a special story at the beach. From the gentle low of the waves to the twinkling stars above, Seashell Shore was a treasure trove of adventures and learning. As the stars twinkled in the sky, Arthur whispered, B is for bedtime, under the moon's soft light, the beach says good night. With a contented heart, Arthur drifted off to dreamland, surrounded by the soothing sounds of the ocean. The next morning, Arthur waved goodbye to Beachland and Little Crab Sandy. Grateful for the wonderful adventure and the many lessons learned about the letter B.
And so, Arthur returned to Alphabet Land. Sharing tales of the beautiful beach land and the fantastic journey that reminded everyone that B was indeed for beach, a place of joy, beauty, and endless discovery. B is for Butterfly. Continuing his journey in the magical world of Alphabet Land, Arthur was eager to learn about the letter B. With the sun casting its golden glow, Arthur eagerly set forth on his quest. As Arthur ventured deeper into the enchanting landscape, he stumbled upon a breathtaking butterfly garden, a spectacle of colors and fluttering wings. A friendly butterfly, adorned in the most vibrant hues, alighted gently on Arthur's shoulder, extending a warm welcome. The friendly butterfly, who introduced herself as Bella, was more than happy to share her knowledge. But what captured Arthur's attention the most was the sight of butterflies in flight. They danced gracefully around the garden. Their wings, a vibrant symphony of colors. Eager to learn, Arthur decided to join the fun. He ran through the garden, mimicking the butterfly's graceful movements. As he played, a butterfly landed on a nearby flower, delicately sipping nectar. Arthur watched in awe. Wide-eyed and full of wonder, Arthur gazed at this marvelous creature named Bella, who, with a flutter of her wings, began to share the secrets of her world. Arthur decided to join her on her adventure to know about Butterfly's world. With a flutter of her wings, Bella, the beautiful butterfly, soared into the sky, leaving a trail of stardust behind. Bella's journey took her through valleys, over hills, and across babbling brooks. As Bella danced through the air, she encountered a group of curious woodland creatures. A wise old owl, a playful squirrel, and a mischievous bunny. Intrigued by Bella's dazzling wings, they decided to join her on her extraordinary adventure. Their first stop was the Enchanted Forest, where trees whispered ancient tales and fireflies lit up the night. Bella shared the magic of pollination, teaching her newfound friends how butterflies play a vital role in helping flowers bloom and grow. Arthur learned that butterflies are not just beautiful, but also play an essential role in pollinating flowers and helping them grow. With each beat of her wings, Bella painted the sky with a kaleidoscope of colors, leaving the forest filled with awe and wonder. The woodland creatures, inspired by Bella's beauty, decided to create a mural of their own, using fallen leaves and petals. Arthur noticed children running and playing among the beautiful flowers. Their laughter filled the air. Continuing their journey, Bella and her friends arrived at the Crystal Caves, where Dazzling gemstones sparkled in the walls. Here, Bella explained the life cycle of a butterfly. From a tiny egg to a caterpillar, cocoon, and finally, the magnificent transformation into a butterfly. The creatures marveled at nature's incredible design. Their adventure took an unexpected turn when they stumbled upon the Whispering Waterfall. Bella, with her magical wings, created a rainbow that arched over the cascading waters. The woodland creatures danced in the mist, their laughter harmonizing with the gentle murmur of the waterfall. As the day turned to dusk, Bella guided her friends to the starlit meadow. 
a magical place where fireflies formed constellations in the night sky. There, Bella shared stories of courage, friendship, and the importance of embracing one's uniqueness. With a final twirl, Bella bid her friends farewell, leaving them with hearts full of joy and inspiration. As she returned to her meadow, Arthur realized that every creature, no matter how small, could make a big difference in the world. With newfound knowledge, Arthur realized that B stands for butterfly. Because they are beautiful and vital for our world. B for banana. One day, Arthur's curiosity led him to explore the world of letters. He wanted to learn all about B. Arthur, with a sparkle in his eye, was determined to discover the secrets of the letter B. In his quest, Arthur stumbled upon a lush banana grove where vibrant yellow bananas hung from tall trees. To his amazement, a friendly and talking banana welcomed him into the grove. Arthur could not contain his excitement. As he explored the garden filled with rows of banana trees, as Arthur explored further, he found kids playing beneath the banana trees. Their laughter filling the air. They were also enjoying delicious bananas. Their faces lit up with smiles as they savored the tasty fruit. Arthur watched as the children carefully watered the banana trees, tending to them with care. Arthur decided to join in. He took a watering can and helped nurture the roots of a young banana tree. With a curious heart, Arthur approached the friendly talking banana and asked, Why is B for banana? The friendly banana, with a warm smile, began to explain everything. There was to know about bananas, from their growth to their sweet taste. Arthur listened attentively as he learned all about bananas. He discovered how they grew, their sweet taste, and the important role they played in people's lives. As Arthur listened intently, he realized that B was for banana, because they were not only delicious, but also grew on banana trees. Just like the apples he learned about earlier. With newfound knowledge and a heart full of adventure, Arthur waved goodbye to the banana garden. B was no longer a mystery. It was the beginning of a beautiful adventure. B for broccoli. One bright morning, Arthur arrived at a charming farmhouse where fields of various vegetables were thriving. As Arthur explored the vegetable garden, he could not contain his curiosity. What could B stand for in this wonderful place? Suddenly, a friendly broccoli plant approached him, its green head beaming with warmth. The friendly broccoli welcomed Arthur to the garden, introducing him to the vibrant world of vegetables. Arthur noticed farmers tending to the vegetables, watering them and ensuring their well-being. Intrigued, Arthur asked the friendly broccoli what types of vegetables grow here. The wise broccoli explained that this garden was a home to a variety of vegetables like carrots, cucumbers, and, of course, broccoli. Arthur was curious about why kids needed to eat broccoli. 
the friendly broccoli shared its knowledge. In the garden, Arthur observed kids enjoying a delicious meal of broccoli. They took crunchy bites and smiled with satisfaction. The kids also collected fresh broccoli. Understanding that it was not only tasty, but also packed with nutrients. With a heart full of understanding, Arthur realized that B stands for broccoli. Because it is not just tasty, it's also healthy and helps kids grow strong. Arthur left the vegetable garden knowing that there were many more wonderful discoveries awaiting him in alphabet land.